Hey friends, good morning. <laughs> I feel like this video might have been a little bit of a far out idea. You guys are gonna see me in my like before I get ready stage a lot this week probably because for the most part, I tend to make breakfast before I get ready and I am just waking up. I'm the type of person that when I wake up, I need some time to like really wake up. I acknowledge that I'm awake. <laughs> So this morning, the girls are not awake yet. We actually, this is obviously this is Monday morning, and we actually had a really busy weekend. Um, my parents are back in the area from Florida for the summer. So like we got together with them. We had um, a little get together here at our house to have a fire and stuff. And so I'm struggling just a tiny bit th this morning. I really just wanted to sleep, but it's Monday morning. I'm a mom. I am a business owner, a wife, all the things. So I've got to kick it in gear, figure out what our week is going to look like. So I started out with some collagen coffee. I did collagen, almond milk, and a little bit of liquid stevia. And I'm making my breakfast right now. The girls, like I said, aren't awake. So I just went ahead and started my breakfast. I don't know. I made extra of this oatmeal. This is the sprouted oatmeal I showed you all. I picked up at Costco and I decided to make this video kind of after I started making breakfast. <laughs> so you're getting the real deal here, guys. Um, anyways, I am kind of going off of the idea. There's a trend going around right now where people are doing a week of mornings. So basically, like a week of morning routines. I'm not a big routine person in general, which if you watch a lot, you know that, but obviously breakfast does happen pretty much every morning at our house. <laughs> so I thought I would give you guys a week in our life in breakfast form. And I just cooked this up with water. And then I have a peach here that needs to be used up. These are some white peaches. I also gotten at Costco a while ago and they're like on their last leg, but they're so good and I wanna use them. And then I also have this cute bowl of blueberries from our blueberry bush. We've been picking from it this past week and gotten so many blueberries off of it. So I thought I would just combine the blueberries and the peach and do a little bit of vanilla stevia and maybe a little almond milk. And we're gonna have a really yummy blueberry peach bowl of oatmeal for breakfast. All right, I'm gonna dump the almond milk in first cause I'm gonna make this a little bit like a built bowl kind of form. And I just remembered I have this brown monk fruit sweetener and that would be so good. I eat very low sugar. So I thought, ooh, this could be like a brown sugar type of a oatmeal bowl and I might even throw a little cinnamon in this actually. I'm using my drink stir spoon to do that. I need to grab a knife for this. I did this the other day where I kind of like diced the peach right on the pit and then cut it off. So we're gonna do that. I don't know if I'm gonna use this entire peach but they're so juicy. They're white peach. For some reason I feel like white peaches are just a lot more flavorful than the yellow. I know like everybody knows there's yellow peaches, but maybe not everyone knows that there's white ones too. And oh, this looks so good. Literally, it's so juicy, it's dripping. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna add in a little bit of blueberry. I'm gonna go enjoy this with my coffee. Happy Tuesday, friends. Good morning for another morning voice. <laughs> so yesterday morning, I made my breakfast and then my mom came over and I didn't end up filming the girls' breakfast. So we're gonna start with the girls' breakfast this morning. They're kind of waking up. I went past their bedroom door upstairs and they're, yeah, in their mode of waking up like their mom does slow and steady. My husband generally will grab a drinkable yogurt in the morning. He's not a huge breakfast guy. We've been trying to work on that because he feels like he feels better if he eats breakfast in the morning, but 
he's a busy guy and just doesn't always get it done. So if you're wondering what he eats in the mornings, now weekends are totally different. We often make breakfast or else we'll go for breakfast on weekends. Um, but back to the matter at hand. So you guys know I like to make these smoothie packs and generally make a lot of them at a time. And I have a few floating around in the bottom of my freezer that need to get used up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a version of how you can make this smoothie. Oh, and I did start off with a collagen coffee this morning, but this morning instead of almond milk, I did super creamer. If you guys don't know what it is, maybe I can pop a picture of it right up here. But super creamer is so good. And I did a vanilla caramel mixture this morning with my collagen and coffee. And all I'm gonna do is take my smoothie pack. Now this one has uh, pineapple, strawberry, banana, and looks like a berry mixture. I'm trying to remember what I did in my last prep. You guys probably can tell me if you watch often. All right, so we're just gonna throw that in the bottom of the blender. And we're gonna take some cottage cheese. Guys, if you've never used cottage cheese, in smoothies, in, I've even used it in pancakes. The amount of creaminess you can get from cottage cheese is just chef's kiss, so good. So I'm going to add this in. Now we have three daughters, they are, my one daughter's birthday is actually today, so we'll probably do something special for that later, but um, they are uh, six, seven, and eight, well just turned, eight and nine. So we've got six, eight and nine, and then the other daughter's birthday will be in a couple of weeks. They are each almost exactly a year apart. And so I'm just giving you age reference for what I'm about to make. They're little girls. They don't eat a ton. They do go through growth spurts, but I can have them share one smoothie pack and they're totally happy with that, especially when I'm adding other things in. So we're gonna add I don't know, a fourth to a half teaspoon of this cottage cheese. Now this is 2% cottage cheese, but this is giving them a little protein boost in their smoothie and such a normal ingredient. It's not a protein powder. I do use protein powders, but I love showing you guys just normal ingredients that you can get lots of nutrition out of. I'm also gonna take some raw local honey I buy it in five gallon buckets so it gets put into these things. And I'm just gonna put a nice little swirl of that in because that helps with allergies. It just helps you acclimate, if I'm using the right word, to your environment whenever you're using it from a local source. So we've got that going in. And actually before, I'm gonna put some almond milk in. Before I do that, I'm gonna grab my collagen. This is so not necessary, but it's just something that when I can throw it in something in our house, I definitely do. And collagen is so good for your skin. It's good for growing girls' hormones and their hair, all of that. And it doesn't taste like anything. That's why I put it in my coffee all the time. Um, so now to top it all off, I'm just gonna add some unsweetened almond milk into the mixture. And then we're gonna turn the blender on. All right, and if you guys don't have a stir spoon like this, I serve my iced coffees and things with this, but it is the absolute greatest tool for getting stuff out of the blender. <laughs> and I discovered this the other day and I've just been using it every time I make smoothies. I like to make smoothies a lot for myself in the evenings. So I'm just going to divide this um, between the three cups. Like I said, didn't do exact measurements or anything, but we are, we generally don't eat huge breakfasts in the morning. So this will probably be just enough for them. And I haven't done smoothies for a while and my oldest was just asking for them the other morning. So they are going to be thrilled with this. Got the good glass straws. My favorite way to enjoy a drink is with a good glass straw. Oh, 
All right, while the girls are out on the screened in porch drinking their smoothies, I'm going to whip together my breakfast so I can sit and join them. We can talk about our day. So I just have a skillet heating up back here. I love this breakfast and I haven't had it for a while. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of butter into the skillet and we are going to make a version of toast and eggs. <laughs> I have loved these outer aisle cauliflower sandwich rounds for a long time and I've purchased them I think multiple times on a Costco haul, different Costco hauls that you all have seen. They come like this. They're actually in two baggies in here and I do sometimes just throw and probably what I'll do as I'm cleaning up from this throw the other baggie in the freezer. They freeze just fine this way. And I'm just going to take two of these rounds and put them in on top of the butter. The great thing about this is that it all ends up being done at the same time, which I love. So I just kind of toast these. They're a little moist when you first pull them out. Obviously they're fried in some way, shape or form, but this makes them kind of crunchy or toasty. So I'm just gonna put two of those in the pan. I'm going to grab two eggs and crack them on the opposite side of the pan. Being careful not to break the yolk. And it's so funny, recently I was talking about um, dippy eggs in one of my videos and lots of people from Pennsylvania, which is where I live if you didn't know, um, were commenting and saying, oh, dippy eggs, ha like you're obviously from Central PA or Pennsylvania area because that's what we call them. So over easy is the, I think, more universal term <laughs> for the type of eggs I'm going to make. So as everything is heating up here, I'm gonna turn up my heat just a little bit. I'm going to sprinkle some salt across my eggs, particularly the yolk, because since I am making dippy eggs, I am going to be breaking the yolk over the cauliflower round. And then I also have a little bit of cheddar cheese here. I don't always do the cheese, but lately it's just been so good. You've got like the yolk you're gonna break and the cheesiness of the slice of cheese melting over the top. All of it together is so good. Oh, one more thing I really like to do. I like to take a small amount of onion powder and sprinkle it over the cauliflower rounds. And I have seen these at other grocery stores, not just Costco. Um, and you can always obviously do this with toast or sprouted bread or sourdough. Sourdough, so good. Um, there's lots of ways to just make eggs and toast. All right, so the eggs are just ready to flip. And I always hold my breath, <laughs> hoping I don't break them. And I'm going to flip these as well. You can see they're kind of um, fall apart easily before they're sort of toasted. So that's why I like to toast them a little bit. And since the eggs are flipped over, now I'm gonna throw a little bit of cheddar cheese right on top of those eggs because I'm gonna pull them off in just a second. I don't want them on there very long or else I'm gonna lose my dippy and my dippy egg. <laughs> okay, just gonna throw everything on the plate here and head on out, have breakfast with my little ones. Ooh, just missed that. <laughs> Good morning, friends. <laughs> I feel like this week, every morning, you've been the first person or people I've talked to, except for like my husband and I, like whispering and talking. So my voice always comes out like, like a frog. 
But we've got our coffee this morning and I decided to go ahead and make some muffins I've been wanting to make. It's a peach muffin recipe. I have two peaches over here, but I don't think it's gonna be quite enough. We need two cups of diced peaches. So I think we might head out to our blueberry bush where they have a lot of blueberries on it and kind of finish off the fruit portion of this recipe. Hang on, gotta take a sip. Oh, nothing hits like the first couple sips of coffee in the morning. So good. All right, so I have the oven preheating and this is obviously something that we can all have for breakfast, which is really great. It's not that we don't do different breakfasts, the girls and I, fairly often, um, but it's just nice when we can do it all together. So I like to start out with my wet ingredients for the most part in recipes. However, this one just says to dump everything together. So I think I'm just gonna go with that and really whisk it well. All right, so we're gonna do a cup of old fashioned oats and then a cup and a half of the oat flour, which is just, I've made it on my channel before, but it's just oatmeal put into the blender. And then I just keep a nice stash of it since we make a lot of um, gluten-free recipes. So we're gonna do a cup of the rolled oats and then a half, and then a cup and a half of that. And also something so funny, and now I feel like I can't not think it. Um, I have had comments where people have thought these were like a chicken leg or something. <laughs> there was like a whole conversation on a video in the comments about it, and I just think it's hilarious. They are wooden scoops. Um, they're not chicken legs. I'm not keeping chicken legs in my cabinet, I promise. <laughs> All right, so we've got a cup and a half of this. And I have had people ask me on my home channel because they can I've shown them closer when I'm organizing and stuff. And they've asked me where to get those. And you can get them on Amazon. I actually found those on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So even at even first thing in the morning, I can remember that where I got it. <laughs> All right, so we're doing cup and a half of oh, put my scoop back in of oat flour all right we need a fourth teaspoon of salt so I'm gonna grab that and then we need two teaspoons of baking powder and then one teaspoon of baking soda soda. Uh, let's see. I said two of that. Fortunately for me, if I forget something while I'm filming, I can just go back and watch <laughs> and see what I missed or how many of something I put in. It's a little perk of filming when you're cooking. Okay. And then the last thing I have back here is a three-fourth cup of a sugar alternative sweetener. Most of you know that when I can, I will use things like monk fruit um, and other like stevia and things like that instead of sugar, just being mindful how much sugar I eat um, because of some health issues that I have. And then also, of course, my children, they get plenty of sugar in other ways. So whenever I can cut sugar out and give a good natural alternative, I will do that. So I'm just whisking these dry ingredients together. My sweetener is a little bit lumpy, so I'm just getting some of the lumps out. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is a cup of egg whites. And I just have a carton egg white here. I actually had never seen this before. It's like organic egg whites, which is kind of nice. So I grabbed that. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a cup of that. Just saves a little time on dividing eggs out, especially this morning. And the girls are not even up yet. Obviously Corey's left for work and all of that. But the next thing we're gonna do is it calls for a cup of Greek yogurt. I actually have peach Greek yogurt here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, but this is not quite a full cup. It is 5.3 ounces, but 
the container, I don't know if you can see, the container appears to be an eight ounce container, very close, so I'm just gonna use that as my measuring cup. All right, so I'm just gonna scoop out what I think is about a cup here. If you're more comfortable with measuring, you can totally do that. I just have cooked for so long, I can kind of eyeball roughly what a cup is. And basically we're adding about mm, two and a half ounces to this container since it's missing that, knowing that it's a 5.3 ounce container. All right, so we're gonna scoop our yogurt in. bit of vanilla. I think the recipe calls for about two teaspoons, but I don't measure vanilla ever. <laughs> and then we're going to, I need to grab a knife. We're going to do these peaches and we'll see how much space we have left in my two cup measuring cup here. You're gonna hear all the birds out here this morning because they love this bush. <laughs> In fact, a bunch flew away when I walked out here, but I need to tell my daughters to come pick. We've got about a cup and a half of peaches here, so they're gonna need to come and pick blueberries today because I can see our bush is just loaded and it's finally a beautiful, cool morning. We've had so many really warm ones lately and it just feels so nice to wake up to a morning and it's kind of crisp and cool. This variety of blueberries is not extremely sweet. They're more of a tart um, blueberry, but we have been loving them. The girls go swimming in the creek like you got to see in one of my last videos. And then they come over here and they just eat handfuls of blueberries. What a life, right? Oh, to be a kid again. <laughs> All right, so back in the house and we have about two cups of fruit in total here. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually mix up the rest of the batter before I stir in the fruit. Just to make sure everything is well combined. and then we'll stir in everything. I just don't like to smash up my fruit too much in something like this. So taking all of the elbow grease <laughs> for the batter. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dump this in. And this is actually white peach, so it's not gonna be bright and yellow. But white peaches are so good. They're one of my favorites and our youngest daughter also really loves white peaches. They're just, they, I think they're almost sweeter, some of the varieties that we've had. We are going to use muffin liners, um, but sometimes there's a little overspill. So I'm using this coconut oil spray. Um, I know some people like to use cooking sprays, others don't. I don't use them a whole lot, but for something like this so that the muffin pops out, it's a little bit convenient. Okay, so we're gonna take our liners and just put those in. I like these brown paper ones. They just look so pretty on a muffin. And I have my big muffin ones that um, stick up kind of pointy. They're more like a folded liner, um, but they don't fit as well in this. And I think this batter is for a smaller size muffin. I feel like this is a lot of batter for this. It's saying 12 muffins. So maybe I should have used my bigger ones. I don't know, but we'll give this a try. Since I was out there watching the birds a little bit, I need to remind my husband to pick up um, and refill his bird feeders. He loves his bird feeders. <laughs> we joke and say that that's like, are we getting that old? We have bird feeders that we fill regularly, but 
He loves it. He's had a really busy last couple weeks and has kind of neglected his bird feeders. So I need to remind him that he should fill them. The birds were singing their praises this morning and it's just so beautiful. It always reminds me to sing my praises to the one that made me. And it's just such a beautiful way to wake up. That's one thing I love about living out in the country sometimes the drive to go places is a little far but just being able to wake up and the only noises you might hear is some farm equipment being used in the distance <laughs> but other than that it's usually the birds and the sunshine streaming in it's just so pretty so I feel like with muffin recipes, and if anybody has any tips on this, you can let me know in the comments, but I feel like with muffin recipes, I never know if they mean genuine muffin tins because I have some muffin tins, or if they mean a tin like this one, this would be more like a cupcake tin. So I never know exactly which to use because I've had it go both ways where it's obvious that there wasn't enough batter for actual muffin tins, and then they're referring to this, and they're calling this a muffin tin. I don't know, but this is definitely going to make more than these 12. Oh my, we have a overflow here. <laughs> and this is why I spray them. My lens, it's like not even letting me pick it up. How about we go into the next one and just discard this, this liner. All right, we'll clean this guy out. Okay, let's try again with that one. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to probably scrub out later. That is one thing I don't like about making muffins is cleaning the muffin tins, but goes with the project. All right, I'm gonna get my other um, tin like this one so that I can fill a few more. We definitely have enough to fill a few more. All right, so I've got those in the oven. They're gonna bake for about 25 minutes and I think I'm gonna put all of this away while they bake. I cannot wait to have a warm muffin, fresh picked blueberries, some white peach, yum, yum, yum. This is really just kind of an easy or a uh, version of baked oatmeal in some sense, but it's still a win. When you call it muffins, it's just more exciting than baked oatmeal. <laughs> Although I love baked oatmeal too. This morning I am getting started a little bit later on breakfast. Um, it's a big bun kind of day today. <laughs> we woke up this morning and my husband informed me that we only have one roll of toilet paper in the house. So today is going to probably turn into an errand running day, going to the store, all of that. You all have seen me do this before, but since I'm doing a week or weekdays of breakfasts for you all, I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So this is my freezer um, breakfast sandwiches. These are with bagels and I just open them up. So I have uh, bacon, egg, cheese, and then the bottom of the bagel here and I put it in the air fryer. I lay the top open on one side as well. I think it's sitting on the cord back here. Um, and then I'm going to just do that for everyone this morning. Get a quick, easy breakfast going for a busy day. And we've found that we get the best crunch from the bacon and the best, ooh, that one doesn't wanna come apart, they're frozen together. Um, and the best toast of the bagel 
whenever I put them into the air fryer. And what I'm gonna do is I will kind of um, use my reheat setting on here, first of all, and then I'm going to take the top bagel out in a couple of minutes so that it's not as in as long as the rest of the sandwich. The rest of these will go back into the freezer. Love these and all my other freezer prep stuff for busy days when I don't have time to make muffins. The muffins yesterday were incredible, so good. Definitely making that recipe again for sure. Um, but days like today where we've got a lot on the schedule, a lot on the agenda, it's super easy to just pop something in the air fryer, put something in the oven, and on we go. All right, it's been probably about two minutes and the tops of the sandwiches are toasted, ready to go. So I'm going to pull those out, kind of check on how frozen the sandwiches are. These take so little time. So I just have to keep an eye on them because I don't want them to dry out or anything while I'm heating this all up. All right, so I decided to time it and I think in total, to heat these guys up, it took about seven minutes. So I'd say that that is pretty good and you have no mess with the frying pan and the bacon frying and all of that every time you wanna make a breakfast sandwich when you can pull these out. The girls sometimes put um, ketchup and hot sauce or, or hot sauce. They have um, some girls that like spicy stuff. So we definitely will do that. And I also um, do gluten-free versions and all of that with this as well. And there's so many options when it comes to breakfast sandwiches. So we are a homeschool family. We are um, people with, our, my husband and I have our own businesses. So we're super used to being on the go and taking homemade food with us on the go. So the girls will probably just take these bowls in the car. When we get home, they'll bring them back in the house. <laughs> just the fastest easiest way for them to eat on the go when we have errands to run and things to do all right it is friday we've made it through the week calls for a little bit of whipped cream on the coffee i'd say so that's what i decided to do <laughs> throw some on my coffee this morning so fridays um it doesn't always happen this way but i do like to focus on what i've prepped for the week what needs to be used up, um, just kind of gathering things around my kitchen. So we are going to do a combination of a couple different things. We're gonna do the muffins that we made um, on Wednesday. And then I'm going to also use up some golden kiwis that I need to get used up. And I'm going to dig in to this pack of breakfast sausages just to add a little more protein and kind of change it up. Obviously, whenever we're having something that we've had before, like the muffins, I like to add in something that just changes the meal a little bit so it doesn't feel too repetitive in a week. Um, these come separated into three separate packages, which I really like and I will probably throw the other two in the freezer, but I'm gonna just cut off what I need here for today. I'm gonna turn on my cast iron skillet back here and just open these up, pop them into the skillet. And these, only, these are already pre-cooked, so all I have to do is really just heat them. That's the main purpose of putting them in here and obviously give them just a little bit of brown on the outside and crunch. We all love these in our house. And so even if there's some leftovers, we can eat them through the weekend um, if we need to. So, whoops, there we go. Get them all in the pan frying up while we get these kiwi cut up. And I'm going to go ahead and give us each a muffin. And then obviously we can eat these through the weekend as well. And I'm gonna grab my peeler. Now you can eat kiwi skin. Um, just my daughters think that it's a little weird. <laughs> Not that you can't. So um, I'm probably gonna cut mine with the skin on, but I'll probably peel theirs. I just bought this mug for myself. It's on Amazon. It's not like a $5 mug or anything. I will link it because I get questions about almost everything I drink out of, but it was a little treat to myself. 
and I think it is the most adorable little summer mug ever and I've been loving it even though I have to fill it up twice for my size cup of coffee <laughs> all right I'm gonna peel these and these are so good I think this is the second time we had them if you guys remember my last Costco haul um, I showed you that I got a big box of these and they were not ripe so they have had their time to ripen and they are so delicious I feel like personally that they are sweeter than green kiwi. If you guys have ever tried these, put your opinions below on what you think of the golden kiwis. I just, oh, they're so good. So I'm just, actually, I think I'm gonna cut this over here. I'm just going to slice these for the girls. They have been loving these and they'll each eat a whole one. And of course they're getting a great serving of fruit. So we've got, fruit, some great um, grains, and then some protein from the sausage. I like to take the whole kiwi and then like kind of lay it out across their plate in nice little slices like this. are actually I think chicken sausages so if you're somebody that's a little sensitive to pork and I can be sometimes these are such a good alternative so delicious that's why I like to see a little bit of bubbliness on one side before I flip them rotate them toast them up nice and brown I just wanted to take note that because I do a lot of meal prepping, if you guys are familiar with my channel, then you know that I do a lot of freezer preps and things like that. I tend to spend maybe 10 or 15 minutes preparing breakfast in the morning, a lot of mornings. Um, I just find that our mornings can be a little crazy. We generally have a lot going on, trying to get the day started. So having a huge interruption with making a large breakfast um, can be difficult, which a lot of people, you know, we try to solve it with things like cereal and not that there's anything wrong with cereal. We get it for a treat around here for sure. But um, it's just to get a full meal at the beginning of the day is really important to get protein in if you can, have healthy nutrients going into your bodies, especially if you've got growing children, is often the goal. And so I'm here to try to help you all simplify that. Even if you don't have children, maybe you're a single person, you're still trying to get a good, healthy start to your day. Having um, quick and easy options is good. And oftentimes I try to make extra of whatever I'm making. I think I mentioned that a lot, but if I can make extra like of this sausage, there'll be a few sausages left. You know, that's something that somebody could have with scrambled eggs tomorrow morning through the weekend. Um, and extra muffins, you've seen that we duplicated or doubled up using them this week. You know, there's so much that you can do in kind of prepping as you go. And I've been talking about that a lot in a lot of my videos recently with just showing you more like everyday meals and how I use a lot of my preps and stuff like that, those things um, come into play. So when you have a chance to double a recipe or you have a chance to make three meals worth of something, take that chance, even if you freeze some of it and you don't use it that week, there's always a day that is gonna be a busy day that you need something easy and quick. And this is my way of solving that by prepping as I go. All right, friends, so it's been a great week. I hope that you guys really got inspired. I thought that I would sit and chat with you just a little bit about our weekends. I know I mention it, but everybody always 
when you put something on a video like weekly or week long or whatnot, they're like, well, it's not a full week because it's not the weekend too. <laughs> so I try to avoid filming on weekends as much as I can. And it generally turns into either making breakfast as a family or we meet other extended family, my siblings or nieces and nephews out for brunch or we end up going for a brunch as a family, those sorts of things. So it ends up being more of family time over the weekend. Um, we do cook here at home sometimes. We do bacon, scrapple. If you're from central Pennsylvania, you know what scrapple is. I know that people in Ohio, I think also eat it. Um, but it's something that we generally eat for breakfast. Um, it's like a breakfast meat type of a dish. Dish. I'm not exactly sure what to even call it. <laughs> but either way, that's generally what our weekends look like. And sometimes we end up just eating yogurt or granola or something really simple. So I'm so glad that you hung out with me this week. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. I've been trying a lot of different style videos recently if you guys haven't noticed um just trying new new videos new content in some sense so i like to hear your feedback and know what you think about it um hear your thoughts about what you like or things that maybe you don't like um, let me know in the comments for sure and if you're new here, I'd love if you subscribed and joined my channel. I have this channel and a second channel. It's called Adeline's Home. That's really centered around my home and organizing and home decor, things like that. This is my main channel where I do do a lot of food inspo. inspo. Apparently this coffee is not fully kicked in. <laughs> Anyways, do a lot of food inspo and a little bit of life here and there. As you've heard, I am trying a lot of new content as well. So I'd love it if you joined my channel. Definitely chat with me in the comments. I love to hear from you all and I'll see you in the next one.